Are we rolling? Oh yeah. Oh, oh shit, we got this all. Oh, excellent. We're done. Hey, <laughs> we're rolling. Oh, oh, oh. Ladies Crazy. and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome in. Paul's oh, kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're rocking. Uh, today we are in Ever Berlin, Dodesland, Music Mesa with master guitar player Mr. Greg Cox. Yeah. Hey. Company as he's known. Here we Greg, are. Uh, Great to see you. Nice to see you, pal. What's happening? <laughs> well, uh, I'm still uh, checking out as much of your stuff as I can. I suggest you do the same. Please. <laughs> Please. But That's one thing great about the internet is that it kind of, it kind of frees you from, um, you know, the tastemakers, the gatekeepers, as I say. It's yeah. just all kind of out there and you can find anything now. You know what Precise. I mean? So. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of cool. But the last years, you've been on a roll, if I may say so. You, you got the Marsh, uh, sorry, Cock Marshall trio. Yes. yes. With Toby and his B3. Yes. It's a fantastic sound. I, I love it. It's a blast. Yeah. So that kind of came all of a sudden. Last, uh, it was about a year ago. Wait, what is, what is the, oh no, it was actually not even a year ago, in March. I'm having a hard time figuring out what month we're in. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in March of last year, I was just getting to read, uh, had this record come out that was mostly instrumental, actually all instrumental stuff called Unrepentant. Uh, yeah. That came out in, in April. So right when I had that done and had already sent it off to be copied, I was just putting it out myself. Um, my son kept on telling me about this organ player that he had been playing with along with this uh, really good guitar player, young guitar player who I'm sure you'll be hearing about named Dylan Sulfur, who's from uh, a little town in Wisconsin that's right across the river from Minneapolis up there in Minnesota. So. My son would go up there and do gigs with this trio, and my son would always come back and say, Dad, you got to hear this organ player, this keyboard player I've been playing with. He used to play with Bernard Alice, and he's killer. His name is Toby. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that sounds great, but, you know, it's five hours away. It's five yeah, hours away. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then one day, um, my son said, hey, Toby, the organ player, he's coming into Milwaukee because he's buying a Leslie speaker from someone down here. We should really get together and jam with him. I'm like, okay, well, remind me when he's around, and, you know, we'll do something. So then, you know, as usual, I'm busy traveling, doing this, that, the next thing. And then when I'm not traveling, when I'm at home, I'm, you know, doing whatever you have to do when you got four kids and you're yeah, married yeah, and you got yeah. a house and whatever. So uh, my son, it was a Thursday, as I recall it, that Toby was going to be down. So like on the Wednesday, my son Dylan was like, hey, Toby's going to be in town tomorrow. What are we going to do? Are we going to jam? I'm like, well, we got that keyboard in the basement. Why don't we just go downstairs when he comes over and we'll jam for a little while? He's like, Dad, he's not going to play that piece of shit. He only plays him and B3. I'm like, well, what do you suggest? He goes, he's going to have his B3 with him. I say we bring it in the house, we put it in the front room, and we jam. Yeah. Like, well, your mom's going to dig that. Yeah, yeah right. Let's move all the furniture aside, bring in the B3. I go, that's not a good idea. So then, whatever else happens for the rest of the day. Now it's Thursday morning. My son's going off to work for a few hours, and he goes, what are we gonna do? Toby's gonna be in town today. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna jam? I'm like, shit, let me let me call up this studio and see what happens. I knew there was a studio where my buddy Steve Hamilton uh, has a studio in there. They got a B3 all wired up. They got a drum set, mic'd up, ready to go. So I just call, I go, Steve, I have absolutely no idea if you're even available today, but Toby's coming into town. Yeah. Apparently Toby, this great organ player. My son wants to jam with him. Uh, are you available today? He's like, no problem. Come over around two o'clock. I'll have everything wired up. He goes, and I'll record it. I'm like, okay, great. So Toby arrives at the house. I say, hi, Toby. Nice to meet you. Dylan said you wanted to jam, or maybe we should. So I booked the studio. Are you up for it? I said, if it turns out we got some good, I'll throw you some dough and we'll make a record. And he's yeah. like, wow, that sounds awesome. So we go over to this studio, and um, I brought a guitar and an amp. Just plugged in the amp, got a little tone mess around a little bit, you know, Toby's messing around with the organ, Dylan's getting a drum sound, and I said, well, let's just, let's just do like a shuffle in G, and I counted it off, and I made up a little melody on the spot, and that's the first tune on the record, the very first thing we ever played, he pressed record, and it was, I knew right after I heard it, I was like, oh my god, great, here we, here we are, that's the way to do it, and then the very, the second tune, let's do something funky in the key of C, and I made up a little riff on the spot, the boys came in, it's like we rehearsed it, and so those are the first two tunes on the record. Terrific. So then I brought him in like a week later, 
Uh, two weeks later, I booked the studio again, and then I brought the film crew in from Wildwood, and then they, they filmed yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the record that's coming out. And then we, I, after I was going to put that out on my own, I sent it to Ed from uh, Mascot. And he's like, this is perfect. I got this new instrumental label we're launching called Players Club. You guys will be the first act on it. What do you say? So we made a deal. So as of March, or actually February of 2018, that record, which I called Toby Arrives, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. will be coming out. So I'm very excited about it. Then we'll be do, touring a bunch and the whole, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, the whole thing. And, and plus what's really cool about it, too, is that they didn't just sign me. They signed the band. So they signed Great Dylan stuff. and Toby. Oh, terrific. So, oh, we'll be around for a while. Good. Let's yes. Hope. I hope I am. I yes. <laughs> uh, don't we hope we all are? In this day and age, one never knows. Oh, a little yeah. crazy. It's not for me, baby. I'm <laughs> 69 now. That's a good number, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make that year last as long as all possible. <laughs>
came out, you know what I mean? And yeah, so yeah. I, made, I made a little tune kind of around that. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, you know, the metal guys, oh, we've been doing that, for, you know, Van Halen does that. And I was like, I'm oblivious to all that. Yeah. I mean, by all by all intents and purposes, I mean, I was born in 66, so yeah. that means I should have been into all the metal guys, but because I was the youngest of seven kids. Yeah, then you're listening to stuff what you yeah, older exactly. so I siblings were kind of, yeah. playing, Dream, etc. Exactly. Which I saw twice live. Oh. In small clubs. And you saw Clapton with the Blues Breakers, oh, though, right? Yeah, right yeah. on, yeah. yeah. And Eric said to me at the Cream Geek, <laughs> he got two fucking Marshall stacks wired up. We're in a club, it's small. He said, and I was quite near the front. And he said to me, you're going to get blasted there, man. I said, Eric, that's why I've got <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right on. Um, all your comedy stuff, man, is amazingly funny. You must get lots of people who say that all the time to you. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it's uh, For me, uh, it's all uh, a part of the package. You know, <laughs> it goes with the territory. But your stories, on behalf of all the YouTube club of which I am one, the stories you tell from in your experiences as a musician... Yes. Et uh, very enjoyable, and you tell it really good. Well, thank you. Uh, and I know a lot of people who are interested to hear more. And it occurred to me when you spoke about uh, playing for Dorman and sleeping on the guy's couch right. and shit like that. Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> I've done all oh, that. Oh, we've done, we've all done yeah. it. And I'm sure there's like lots of people all over the globe going, yeah, bastards. I, 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 right? They're doing that to great fuckers, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Well, that's it. I mean, it's, it's the nature of the beast. I mean, <laughs> now at least we're in a situation where, you know, we did a little bit of, um, you know, with this trio now with my son, we're going to get out a lot more. And, yeah. And we have the luxury of we can fit everything in one van, one little minivan. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Even the, we have a cut B3 in the Leslie and with yeah, my amp, yeah, and if yeah, we can yeah. get it all in there. And, and we did some door gigs on the way back because we had to be to fill days. <laughs> and I thought, well, here I go. I'm saying I wouldn't do door gigs, and here I'm doing door gigs. Yeah. But, um, but it works out. I mean, you know, at this point, I can charge a decent amount at the door. Yeah, yeah. And at least I know enough, if I put it on social media and stuff, cool. enough people cool. will come out where you're yeah. making dough. You know what I mean? Nice. Which, is, which is nice. Absolutely. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting day and age. I mean, in, the Internet allows you to uh, connect with people in a way that... Yeah, you know, never otherwise... Right, before you were completely dependent on yeah. having to schmooze whoever yeah. at the local music rag. Well, I think it's, ama I mean, a, an old guy like me, I think it's amazing all the information yeah. that's now out there. Like when I was 15, 17, there was nothing. There was absolutely zero in right. England. A, a very small club circuit and a few maniacs who supported it, right. which I was one. Yeah. I, I went all over the country uh, i lived in nottingham uh -huh. famous for robin hood yes right but there was a gang of us six of us we had an old morris isis car a big car late 40s and we'd go to manchester i saw in one night muddy waters playing at manchester university with um the pianist otis span otis span yeah S.P. Leary drumming, it's like Mick Fleetwood, but in a three-piece suit yeah. and no sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. And and then I went to this place, the Jigsaw <laughs> Jigsaw Club, All Nighter, with Paul Butterfield Blues Band, Mike Bloomfield. Mike Bloomfield. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Alvin it's Bishop. Like Alvin Bishop. Yeah, and the whole thing. And I always remembered. <laughs> Bloomfield had shades on. It was like three o'clock at night. You know what I mean? And this small club, and some idiot at the back got this like theatre spotlight. Ah! <laughs> and Bloomfield, Bloomfield said, uh -uh. "Who needs the lights, man?" <laughs> way, way to go! So he had the gold top with the yeah. P90s at that. Yeah, point. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, Bishop, the red uh, 335. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you're a fan of. I am indeed. I do like my 335s, yeah. absolutely. I got uh, a 66 ah. uh, ES 335 TDC with the tail. Okay. It's not the fast bridge, which I would have preferred, but 
There you go. There you go. But it's cool. Yes. Um, I'm gonna let you go, man. This is all too cool. A pleasure as always. I'm gonna kick yeah. in for the, the Paul's kitchen thing. Okay. Yes. Great. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Greg's got a busy day ahead of him. Plus, he doesn't yet know I'm asking him right now for 10 seconds on the red guitar over there. Yes. <laughs> we'll that, make it happen. The, this was a fantastic uh, Paul's Kitchen on tour. So uh, until the next time, it's goodbye from Paul's Kitchen. Yay! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> awesome. awesome. We did it. Thank yeah, you. great. Yes. Yes.